What's going on guys? Sean Gutierrez back with another video. Guys, this one's gonna be a little bit different. I got a surprise for you. It's a big day for me. It's kind of early. I'm heading to the shop right now to meet a couple of the guys. We are heading to Knoxville, Tennessee to pick up my new car. quick before we go I'm gonna take you guys along with me you have to wait to see what it is my guys haven't seen it yet real quickly I just wanted to motivate you guys give you guys some info just kind of you know I'm trying to set you guys up for success so I'm just gonna share with you my process and what I've been through uh, but so about a year ago guys I had over 10,000 in debt probably more like 15,000 maybe maybe 12 uh, just credit card debt just over the years you know, when I graduated barber school, I had a full credit card because there was no financial aid. So my only option was to swipe my credit card every time I needed gas uh, or food or whatever. So I graduated barber school with a maxed out $6,000 credit card. And just as soon as I had had that paid down decent, I decided to open a barber shop. So I opened a barber shop, of course, very expensive. I ended up swiping a lot on the credit card to open the shop. So next thing you know, I got 10 to 15,000 on these credit cards. And uh, I never missed a payment. I never had any problem. You know, I make good money as a barber. Uh, but about a year ago, I decided I'm gonna buckle down. I'm gonna get rid of this. And so you guys have heard me before. My my plan, and this is what I would advise you guys to do. If you're trying to save for something, you're trying to pay something off, you're trying to get a new car, whatever it might be, you guys put $20 back for every 100 that you make every day. So I went, if I made 100, I put 20 back. If I made 200, I put 40 back. And on top of that, guys, I decided to put any 50s or $100 bills in my savings as soon as I got home. So as soon as I get home, it goes up. It's in the savings. And guys, real quick, you'll save up quite a bit of money. So with that being said, guys, fast forward a whole year later, I've paid off all my debt. I have $0 in credit cards. I still do that savings. So I had a goal. Part of me starting YouTube, starting my own product, was to get my dream car one day. And this thing that I'm driving, if you guys know, you know I like it. It is, uh, it was a dream car at one point, uh, but now I can say I have a new dream car that I've been chasing after for the last year. I haven't really let you guys know, uh, but all of this goal was to obviously to be successful on YouTube and have my own website and be successful as a barber. Uh, but I've really been working to pay my debt off and get a down payment to where I can get this car. So guys, with all of that being said, you know, that is setting me up for success. I have a savings account with some money in it. I've been investing some money. Uh, when I work on the website and I wanna buy something new to sell, you know, I have the funds to do that. And so, you know, you guys can use that technique that I told you. I also want you guys to understand that the major difference for my life today versus a year ago was just a choice. It was a choice to get up earlier, to be more productive, uh, get up and get things done. You know, guys, I wake up every day before I go to work and I ship out the color cards. So I already have to go to work fairly early. I'm always the first one there to set up. And uh, I get up an extra half hour early just to pack the color cards and ship them out every morning. So, you know, I could get more sleep. I could hit snooze a couple times. I could block off my schedule and go in late. Um, but I, I made a decision. I made a choice to go all out, right? Work harder, stay up and get that YouTube video done. Discipline myself. I don't come home and sit and play uh, Xbox for four, four hours a night or watch aimless stuff on TV. I try to always be getting something done, being proactive um, and it's paid off guys. I, I, I know I probably drive my guys crazy because I'm all about this and they're not quite on my level yet, but I'm hoping to inspire them that they can have whatever they want. They can have whatever success they want. If they're just willing to sacrifice a little bit, put in the effort, you know, as long as you're willing to do more than everybody else, you will have more than everybody else. So anyways, guys, we're going to head out. I'm almost to the shop. I just wanted to give you guys that little bit of inspiration. Now we'll get to the fun part. We're going to pack in the car. We're going to head to Knoxville, Tennessee to the dealership. Of course, I'll just time lapse that real quick, get a little cutscene. You guys can see the new car. So I'm super excited. Been waiting for this day. I've actually been working on this for a whole month. So it's finally here. So let's head to Knoxville. You guys can check it out.
guys, I'm home. Long day driving. We left at 10, got home at 10. I'm not going to show you guys the car right now. I'm going to go to bed and we'll get right back to it. You guys can check out the car. I'm going to show you all around it. All the details are super dope. I'm super happy with it. I'm going to crash and I'll check in in a minute. All right, guys, it's the next day. Let's pull this thing out. You guys can check it out. All right guys, so it's a 2018 M3. So 10 years newer than the old one. You guys can see the resemblance. It's a 2018, it is a inline six twin turbo. See the factory 19 inch wheels. This is called mineral white. You guys can see it's got some pearl in it. Super dope paint. The uh, competition pack has all these black accents. So it's got the black side gills. The black front grille, black headlights. I see it sits pretty low from the factory. The rear end's what I really like. Quad exhaust. I actually just modded the exhaust where the valves stay open all the time so it'd be a little bit louder. Also got the black M3 badge from the factory and this one was tinted. It is one year old guys. So uh, it was tinted before by the previous owner. We got 10,000 miles on it. Let's can see the big brake kit. I'm still figuring this thing out guys. There's lots of stuff on this car I don't even know about. So big brake kit with the blue calipers. We'll get in and check it out. So guys, this thing's crazy. I can't even really uh, show you everything. We'll go ahead and start it up. But this thing's crazy. It's got Apple CarPlay. Just all kind of bells and whistles. Before I can show you guys anything, I'll have to figure all this out. But you guys see carbon fiber in the interior, on the dash, on the arm, uh, on the console. This is automatic, guys, but it has paddle shifters. You guys can see the plus and minus here. You can shift on the steering wheel. Just hit 11,000 miles on the way home. But yeah, guys, I'm digging it. It's pretty cool. The uh, These M3 logos light up at night. We got the stitching on the seat belts. Uh, there are lights on the doors. There's lights underneath this panel right here that light up at night. And a nice sound system. It's got all kinds of stuff, guys. I gotta figure it out. Right here, we got an M1, M2 button so I can set different settings for how I wanna drive it. Uh, so say I want to do M1 would be like full sport mode, no traction control, and then maybe M2 has traction control, depending on what I'm trying to do. You guys can see Apple CarPlay up here. I haven't hooked it up yet. Uh, I'm about to, as soon as I finish this video, I'm about to come out here and play. So you guys can see it. We got back seat, full back seat. No, uh, the other one had a middle console right there you couldn't sit in. So we got a full back seat with back doors. And these seats are super comfortable, guys. I'm loving this thing. And uh, that's one cool thing about BMWs. They have this option where it's called coding. That's what I'm gonna do here in a minute, but I'll actually be able to code the car to do what I want uh, with different buttons. So say when I unlock it, I want the windows to roll down. I can do that. I can make the mirrors fold in when I lock it make different lights on when I have my running lights on, different things like that, so. All right guys, so that's the car. I appreciate you guys checking it out. Like I said, I really wanted to do this. I was excited to get it, but I really wanted to just show you guys my process of how I did it and uh, kind of motivate you guys and show you the way to save money, pay things off, get ahead. If you guys start to do that, you can roll that money into other things, into other businesses, into investing, into other different things. Uh, get ahead and you guys can have the life that you want. So that's really why I did this. Hope you guys enjoy the car. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about the car. I'm going to get to messing with it and I'll catch you guys soon.